Christmas time officially came to an end with the feast of the baptism of our Lord. The lights and decorations are disappearing from the streets and houses, and simple ordinary winter time has set in. But there is one place in Rome where Christmas lasts every day for 12 months a year. The nativity scene of the Roman street cleaners gives visitors the possibility to experience Christmas even during the summer. Over its 45 years' existence, the place has received over two million visitors, three Roman pontiffs, Italian prime ministers and presidents, and even a saint, Mother Teresa. What is special about this nativity scene? Giuseppe Gianni, the creator of this nativity, says that all cribs are beautiful because they represent the story of Christ. But his own nativity is made with a lot of love and the desire to show the world the love of God. It's been 45 years this year, and I created this in my free time, not while on the job. See, I would finish work and stay on and work at it little by little. Some of my colleagues were a bit skeptical. They were like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm creating a nativity scene so beautiful, the Pope will come and see it. And nobody believed me. And not one, but three popes have come to see it. St. John Paul II came 24 times. Santo Giovanni Paolo II è venuto 24 volte. Pope Paul VI visited the nativity scene in 1974, and His Holiness Benedict XVI, in his first year of pontificate, paid homage to this place. After visiting the street cleaner's nativity, Pope Benedict said that he felt as if he had been on a pilgrimage to Bethlehem. The nativity reproduces down to the smallest detail the buildings of Palestine from 2,000 years ago. There are four aqueducts, two wet walls that form stalactites, one well with a spring and 24 caves. Here I wanted to create Bethlehem and the cave where Jesus was born. The Gospels say that Jesus was born in a manger, a stable, and so there's bits of straw on the floor and hay. People that go in feel like they're participating in the birth of Jesus. They walk over the hay and the bits of straw. They're inside the manger, and you can also see all the symbols from the Old and New Testaments. The base of the crib and its outer walls are made with 2,234 stones that come from all over the world. The first is a stone from Bethlehem, and the last a meteorite rock from the moon. The visit is free of charge, and as a donation, the organization accepts stones. The right-hand side of the crib represents the passage from the Old to the New Testament. It starts with the bricks that the people of Israel had to produce when they were enslaved in Egypt. The sacks of grain represent the story of Joseph and his brothers. And then there is also a coil reminding us of the prophet Isaiah. You see houses built on the rock, just like Jesus says in the Gospels. He said, if you build a house on the rock, the house will weather any storm and will not be destroyed. Among other things in this great speech Jesus made, he also said that we are the salt of the earth. The salt, because just like the salt gives taste and allows us to preserve food, so we are called to preserve our faith and give taste to the world with our example. The street cleaner's nativity scene is certainly a great example of the salt of the faith of Giuseppe Gianni, which gives a taste of the mystery of the nativity of Jesus to all pilgrims the whole year round. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more on Vaticano.